treasure. It's right here. Tears of joy after this woman makes a remarkable discovery, a hidden treasure buried in the Utah wilderness. Imagine ripping down a plaster wall and uncovering a medieval masterpiece beneath, or unearthing a 16th century well within the floorboards. Sounds like something out of a movie, right? But these are just a few of the astonishing discoveries that have happened within the very walls of ordinary homes. Join us as we explore the most startling home renovation finds, proving that sometimes the greatest treasures are hiding in plain sight. The Stash of Teeth In a sunny town called Valdosta, Georgia, some hard-working construction workers were busy fixing up an old building called The Converse. They were hammering and sawing, making big progress. But one day, as they began breaking down a wall, something unexpected happened. Instead of dust and bricks, they saw a shocking sight. A hidden stash of hundreds, maybe even thousands of teeth. Okay, so crews were renovating the building when they went to knock out a wall on the second floor, and that's when they found nearly 1,000 human teeth. Now, most folks figure they should have around 32 teeth in their mouths. No more, no less. A couple extra might raise an eyebrow, but a whole room full of disembodied chompers. That's definitely not normal. So the workers were naturally freaked out. They started thinking all sorts of crazy things. Did the building secretly grow teeth? Did they stumble upon a serial killer's hideout? Some of the workers even took pictures of the teeth and shared them online, making the story go viral. Thankfully, the real explanation wasn't quite so scary. It turns out this Converse building used to be the workplace of a dentist named Clarence Whittington. Now, back in those days, we are talking about over a hundred years ago. Dentists didn't always have fancy disposal bins for their leftovers. So, guess what? Dr. Whittington apparently decided to use the walls of his own building as a personal tooth vault. So, while the image of a thousand teeth stashed in a wall is enough to make anyone lose their lunch, it wasn't some sinister plot or ghostly haunting. It was just a case of an old-fashioned dentist with a quirky and gross disposal method. Grenade in wall. Imagine yourself, a hard-working contractor, diligently hammering away at a wall in an old Ohio house. Suddenly, your hammer clangs against something metallic and oddly shaped. With a jolt, you realize it's not a nail, it's a grenade. Not a toy one, mind you but a real live pin and all hand grenade. That's exactly what happened to a contractor in Ohio recently. His peaceful morning of demolition was shattered by the discovery of this dangerous relic. Ironic, isn't it? Now, grenades and houses don't exactly go hand in hand. They're more like oil and water, sworn enemies in the world of architecture. So the contractor does the only sensible thing. He calls the police. The cops, used to dealing with the usual suspects, we're now face to face with a war souvenir more explosive than a speeding ticket. The cops suspected that the grenade might be a leftover souvenir from a former resident who was a war veteran, maybe from World War II or Korea. Thankfully, the bomb squad got called in and they managed to safely detonate the grenade without any Hollywood style explosions. But not all grenade discoveries end so happily. Sometimes things go exactly how you'd expect. Boom and another house becomes a pile of rubble. So the next time you're hammering away at a wall, remember there might be more than just dust lurking behind the bricks. You might just stumble upon a piece of history, good or bad, explosive or just dusty. Just keep your fingers crossed and hope it's not something that will turn your renovation project into an unplanned demolition derby. The Ship In the bustling city of Boston, where towering steel and glass buildings reach for the sky, Skanska construction workers were used to the routine. Day in, day out, they hammered and drilled, erecting another high-rise monument to the concrete jungle. But on one seemingly ordinary day in May 2016, their routine was shattered by an extraordinary discovery. Beneath the ground where they planned to lay the foundation for a 400,000-square-foot office building, they stumbled upon something far older and far more fascinating. A ship. Shipwreck from the 1800s uncovered during construction in Boston's Seaport District. Not just any ship, mind you, but a beautifully preserved sloop from the late 1800s. It wasn't just a pile of rotting wood and tattered sails either. This ship, 
though no longer seaworthy, was remarkably intact. Gleaming silverware peeked out from its cabin, and barrels of lime, once used to combat the dreaded scurvy, stood stoic in the hold. But how did this ship end up not just on land, but buried deep beneath it? The answer lies in the ever-changing landscape of Boston. This part of the city wasn't always the solid ground it is today. Once upon a time, it was a vast expanse of mud flats stretching out towards the sea. As the human population burgeoned and their appetite for urban sprawl grew, so too did the need for more space. So, bit by bit, the mud flats were filled in, and with each scoop of earth, each truckload of fill, the city grew, but a hidden treasure remained buried in its depths. The Letter to Santa In the year 1943, a young boy named David Haylock lived in a house with an old chimney. Back then, writing letters to Santa and sending them up the chimney was all the rage for kids like David. One Christmas, at around the age of seven, David carefully crafted a wish list for Santa. He dreamt of cozy slippers, a fancy silk tie to feel like a grown-up, a sturdy pencil box to hold all his treasures, and plenty of chalk to draw magical worlds on the sidewalk. After writing the letter, he tucked it into the chimney of his family home. Fast forward many decades, the house with the old chimney had changed hands countless times. One day, construction workers arrived to replace the aged chimney with a newer one. As they carefully dismantled the bricks, they stumbled upon a small, crumpled piece of paper hidden within the layers. It was David's letter to Santa. But this letter, written by a little boy to Santa in 1943, has been found up a chimney stack in Reading. The worn-out paper and faded ink spoke of a simpler time, filled with a child's innocent hopes and dreams. Touched by the discovery, the construction workers decided to make David's Christmas wishes come true, even though decades had passed. They tracked down David, now a grown man, and presented him with a gift basket filled with everything he'd written on his list. Fluffy slippers, a silk tie in his favorite color, a classic wooden pencil box, and even a box of sidewalk chalk. The worker's heartwarming gesture had not only delivered a long-lost Christmas wish, but also rekindled the magic of believing in Santa and the joy of simple dreams coming true. So, even though Santa might not have received David's letter all those years ago, the spirit of Christmas lived on, hidden within an old chimney brick, waiting to be discovered and spread its cheer, even decades later. The Mummy Finding mummies isn't just about unearthing dusty remains from forgotten tombs. Sometimes they peek out from beneath our very feet, like in the bustling Chinese city of Taizhou back in 2011. Construction workers there were busy building a new road. Digging deep below the modern asphalt, they stumbled upon something unexpected, a large wooden box buried beneath the ground. Curious and unsure of what they had found, they called in an archaeologist for help. Upon opening the box, the archaeologist's eyes widened. Inside, nestled carefully, lay the remarkably well-preserved body of a woman, dressed in elegant silk robes and slippers, adorned with delicate jewelry. She seemed almost lifelike despite having been buried for centuries. Her skin, though tinged with age, remained intact, as did her wispy hair and delicate eyebrows. This wasn't just any woman. She was a time capsule from a bygone era, a member of the Ming dynasty that once ruled China. The brown liquid surrounding her in the coffin, while unusual, had helped to preserve her remains for an astonishing 700 years. Based on the tomb and the woman's finery, the director of the Taizhou Museum, Wang Weiyin, estimated that she had been laid to rest with great care and reverence somewhere back in the 14th century. This remarkable discovery generated excitement and curiosity around the world. Scientists and historians marveled at the woman's pristine condition, learning not only about her clothing and possessions, but also potentially about the burial practices and medical knowledge of the Ming Dynasty. World War II Era Bomb World War II's shadow stretched far beyond its six-year duration into the present day. Even decades after the guns fall silent, the echoes of conflict can resurface in unexpected ways. A stark reminder of this came in Belgrade, Serbia, in 2013, when construction workers stumbled upon a chilling discovery. 
a one-ton German bomb dating back to the war. This wasn't just any relic. It was a ticking time bomb containing a whopping 620 kilograms of explosives. The potential devastation was immense. The blast radius could engulf the entire 400-meter area where it lay buried. The discovery sent shockwaves through the city. Authorities swiftly evacuated the surrounding area, displacing 1,200 residents from their homes. The scene was tense, filled with the uncertainty of what could happen. To safely handle the massive bomb, experts constructed a special bunker around it. This elaborate shield would contain the blast if the unthinkable happened during the delicate diffusal process. Thankfully, the expertise of the bomb disposal team prevailed. After hours of work, they successfully neutralized the explosive threat. The bomb was carefully removed and transported away for proper disposal. After a long, anxious night spent at a nearby leisure center, the evacuated residents were finally allowed to return home. The hot tea and coffee offered by authorities couldn't erase the fear they had endured, but it served as a small token of comfort in the face of such a close brush with disaster. Pablo Escobar's safe. Pablo Escobar, the notorious Colombian drug lord, wasn't just known for his vast wealth and ruthless tactics. He was also adept at hiding his riches, leaving behind a trail of clues and buried treasures. One such enigma is the mysterious safe discovered in his former Miami Beach mansion in 2016. As crews demolished the extravagant pink mansion, an excavator operator stumbled upon a hidden compartment within the concrete foundation. Nestled inside was a hefty safe, roughly two feet by two feet and estimated to weigh between six to seven hundred pounds. Its location, beneath the entrance of the sprawling estate with its four bedrooms, pool, six bathrooms and garage, only added to the intrigue. The safe itself is an enigma. Its robust construction and unknown combination lock speak volumes about the value of its contents. Finding such discovery during home renovation leads to an FBI investigation, but not this time. Speculation, however, runs wild about what might lie within the safe. Stacks of cash, gold bars, priceless jewels, or even incriminating documents from Escobar's dark past. The possibilities are endless, fueled by the notorious drug lord's reputation for amassing and hiding his fortune. For a time, the safe became a local celebrity, its fate hanging in the balance. The property owners, Christian de Berduar and Jennifer Vallapi, opted for caution, choosing to store the safe in a secure bank vault guarded by armed security. Years have passed since the safe's discovery, yet what was found within remains a mystery. The Hidden Room Katie and Robin were like any ordinary couple settling into their new 1904 semi-detached home in the United Kingdom. They were excited to redecorate, add their personal touch, and make the space their own. Little did they know their humble home held a hidden surprise, waiting to be unearthed. One day, their eyes fell upon a hatch under the floorboards. Curiosity sparked. Robin unscrewed it and peered inside. What he discovered wasn't a dusty crawl space, but a vast, sprawling basement. The hidden room stretched beneath their entire double living room, a secret extension tucked away for decades. News of their extraordinary find quickly spread on social media. A short clip showcasing the newly discovered basement garnered over half a million views, leaving internet users stunned and thrilled for the lucky couple. Suddenly, Katie and Robin's renovation project took on a whole new dimension, one filled with possibilities and unexpected adventures. The hidden basement offered more than just extra square footage. It was a blank canvas, a chance to step back in time and breathe new life into a forgotten space. So while most housewarming gifts involve fluffy towels or potted plants, Katie and Robin received something far more special, a hidden room whispering forgotten tales. Hidden treasure trove in Paradise Valley. Robert Spann, a successful engineer and CEO, lived in a grand house in Paradise Valley, Arizona. He had a quirky habit of stashing away valuables like gold, cash, and stocks in unexpected places around the house. When he passed away in 2001, his daughters, Karen and Kim, became responsible for his estate. Knowing their father's treasure-hiding ways, they spent the next few years uncovering hidden goodies, Stocks and bonds tucked away in ammo boxes, 
gold coins nestled in dresser drawers, and even cash nestled inside picture frames. In 2008, the Spann sisters decided to sell the house. Serena Jennings and Clinton McCallum bought the property and immediately embarked on a major renovation. Little did they know, they were about to stumble upon a real-life buried treasure. During the remodel, one of the construction workers, Kewen, made a jaw-dropping discovery while tearing down a kitchen wall. Inside, hidden neatly in the insulation, were two ammo cans bulging with crisp banknotes. His eyes wide with surprise, Kuen kept digging and found two more cans stashed away in a bathroom wall. All told, the hidden treasure amounted to a cool $500,000. Now imagine Kuen's dilemma. Here he was, staring at a small fortune. But what should he do? Keep it quiet? Share it with his boss? Honesty won the day, and Kuen told the new homeowners about his find. They, in turn, contacted the authorities, and suddenly the money became the center of a legal tug of war. Robert Spann's daughter Karen heard about the hidden treasure and wasn't too happy. She argued that the money belonged to her father's estate, not the new homeowners. And so the legal battle began. Lawyers were hired, paperwork piled up, and the fate of the half-million-dollar treasure hung in the balance. Finally, after months of courtroom wrangling, the judge delivered his verdict. He ruled that since Span had deliberately hidden the money and intended to come back for it someday, it wasn't considered abandoned, but simply mislaid. Therefore, the rightful owner was still the Span estate. In the end, the Span family got their father's hidden treasure back. Behind the Mirror Samantha Hartso, a woman living in a Roosevelt Island apartment in New York City, stumbled upon a chilling discovery in 2021. An unexplained cold draft kept blowing in her bathroom, driving her curiosity wild. Determined to find the source, she followed the chill to its origin, her bathroom mirror. Upon closer inspection, she realized the mirror wasn't just reflecting her face. It was hiding a secret. With a mix of trepidation and excitement, she pried off the mirror to reveal a gaping hole in the wall, leading to a dark, unknown space. The darkness, however, couldn't stop Samantha's investigative spirit. Equipped with a headlamp, a face mask, and a hammer for good measure, she squeezed through the narrow opening into the hidden room. The scene that greeted her was far from ordinary. Instead of a hidden treasure trove, she found a dusty, forgotten space filled with overflowing trash bags, old boxes, and a lonely, disconnected toilet. The only hint of life was a single plastic water bottle. Despite the lack of glamour or mystery, Samantha bravely explored the cramped space, documenting her journey with her headlamp's light. Finally, after a cautious exploration, she emerged back into her own apartment, safe and sound. To prevent further chills and even perhaps unwanted visitors, she made the decision to cement the mirror back onto the wall, sealing the hidden room away and restoring a sense of normalcy to her apartment. The well... For over two decades, Colin Steer, a 61-year-old resident of Plymouth, Devon, lived with a nagging question. What caused that odd dip in his living room floor? He'd noticed it soon after moving in, but his initial attempts to investigate were met with a firm no from his wife. Family life and work took priority, and the floor bump became a footnote in their daily routine. But in 2012, things changed. With retirement bringing newfound time and his wife's consent, Colin decided to get to the bottom of the bump. Armed with a shovel and a thirst for discovery, he started digging. Inch by inch, the mystery unraveled. The dent wasn't just a dent. It was the mouth of a hidden well, stretching down a staggering 33 feet. But the well held another secret. He found an old rusty sword lying inside the well at an angle. Doing some research, Colin learned that the well was part of an ancient aqueduct built by the legendary Sir Francis Drake in the 16th century. It once carried water from Dartmoor to quench the thirst of Plymouth's residents. Colin was thrilled with his discovery. He felt like he had unearthed a piece of history right in his own home. However, not everyone was as happy about the find. Colin's wife wasn't particularly fond of the well. She didn't like the idea of having a giant hole in their living room floor, 
and she worried about the safety hazards it posed. Despite his wife's reservations, Colin is determined to preserve the well. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. Ripping out walls, tearing down ceilings, home renovations are a messy business. But amidst the dust and debris, sometimes you stumble upon something truly extraordinary. We have all heard the stories. Civil War diaries hidden in attics, forgotten treasures behind bricked-up walls. But what happens when your renovation project takes a turn for the federal? Discovery during home renovation leads to FBI investigation. This isn't just a headline, it's a reality for some. Imagine unearthing a hidden room, not filled with dusty antiques, but with evidence of a high-stakes crime. Suddenly, your do-it-yourself project becomes a scene straight out of a spy thriller, with the FBI knocking on your door and yellow tape crisscrossing your living room. This isn't just a cautionary tale for overzealous demolitions. It's a reminder that the history hidden within our walls can be far more complex and sometimes far more dangerous than we ever imagined. So the next time you pick up a crowbar, remember, you might be unearthing more than just drywall. You might be unearthing a mystery that demands the FBI's attention. So, what is the weirdest thing you have ever found during a home renovation? And would you contact the authorities if you stumbled upon something suspicious? Or would you try to solve the mystery yourself? Let's keep the conversation going in the comments below. Murals from the Past In 2005, the Asakona Ramirez family embarked on a simple home renovation in their colonial-era house in Chajul, Guatemala. Little did they know, what started as a routine project would soon unveil a fascinating window into the past. As they chipped away at layers of plaster on the kitchen wall, they stumbled upon a breathtaking sight, a series of vibrant Mayan murals dating back 300 years, these weren't just any murals, they were living testimonies to a significant chapter in Guatemalan history. Experts identified the scenes depicted as the Conquest Dance, a performance rooted in the 1650s, a time when the Spanish invasion reshaped the local landscape. The murals came alive with colorful portrayals of tall Europeans, clad in their distinct attire, beating drums and playing flutes. The discovery was met with a mix of awe and apprehension, the family understood the immense historical value of their newfound treasure, but the responsibility of its preservation weighed heavily on them. Without proper support, the delicate murals were vulnerable to the ravages of time and neglect. Ramirez reached out to the Guatemalan government in 2007, pleading for assistance in safeguarding this precious piece of heritage. The fate of these murals remains uncertain, but one thing is clear. Their revelation sparked a renewed interest in preserving Mayan history and safeguarding cultural heritage for future generations. Treasure in the kitchen. Treasures show up in the unlikeliest of places, waiting for the right moment to reveal themselves. Like with Angie and Eddie, a couple from Phoenix, Arizona, whose kitchen renovation in 2015 took an unexpected turn when they unearthed a hidden secret beneath their very feet. As they chipped away at the old floorboards, they hit something hard and unexpected. A locked safe. Now most people would probably just leave it there, thinking it's probably empty or filled with boring old paperwork. But not Angie and Eddie. They were determined to unlock this mystery. They even remembered finding a weird code scribbled in the back of a medicine cabinet when they first moved in. But they never found the safe it belonged to. So they held on to the code, just in case. And guess what? The code worked. When they cracked open the safe, they were in for a real surprise. Inside, tucked away like hidden gems, were stacks of old $100 bills, adding up to a whopping $51,080. That's enough to buy a fancy new car, a trip around the world, or even a down payment on a bigger house. But that wasn't all. The safe also held a dusty bottle of bourbon from 1960, a vintage bingo card, and even a book called A Guide to the Perplexed by E.F. Schumacher. Now, here's the really interesting part. The book might hold clues to a treasure hunt. Sarmik and Eddie haven't revealed what these clues might be, but they're definitely excited to follow the trail and see where it leads. So, who knows? Maybe this hidden treasure is just the beginning of their grand adventure. The kitchen in the basement. 
There are stories of people finding buried caches of gold or dusty trunks overflowing with pirate booty. But for one couple, an extraordinary discovery lurked not in pirate caves or forgotten islands, but right beneath their feet, in their own basement. In 2013, while renovating their 19th century family home in Wales, Archie and Philippa Graham Palmer made a fascinating discovery, a hidden Victorian kitchen in the basement. The perfectly preserved kitchen, believed to be installed in the 1830s, was like stepping back in time. Imagine opening cupboards brimming with old cooking utensils, pots, pans, and even pastry cutters. A well-worn 1911 cookbook lay open on a counter, whispering secrets of long-forgotten dishes. Antique fire extinguishers and curious jelly molds hinted at the bygone era, when meals were prepared by a full staff of servants. Archie, who inherited the house from his father, believes the kitchen hadn't been used for over a century. But it found a new purpose during World War II, serving as a shelter during air raids. The thick stone walls and hidden location offered crucial protection for the family. Now, the Graham Palmers are on a mission to preserve this piece of history. They plan to carefully restore the kitchen, bringing back its Victorian charm with period-appropriate colors and decor. Maybe one day, they'll even try out some of those old recipes from the dusty cookbook. The chapel. Imagine having a house party for Good Friday and instead of dancing and cake, you stumble upon a secret tunnel leading to an ancient chapel. That's exactly what happened to the Farla family in 2010 in their old Victorian home in Shropshire. For years, a mysterious metal grill on the floor had them scratching their heads. Finally, fueled by curiosity and maybe a few celebratory drinks, 20-year-old Gareth and his 25-year-old Uncle Matthew decided to investigate. They pried up the grill and squeezed through the tiny opening, descending into what they described as a spooky, dark cellar. But this wasn't just any basement. It was a hidden chapel, small and damp, with an air of forgotten history. Newspapers and magazines from the 1930s lay scattered around, hinting at its age. On the walls, they saw rusty hooks, maybe for hanging meat, maybe something else entirely. And in the center, a weathered wooden cross stood testament to its religious purpose. Now the question arose, what was this secret chapel doing under their house? Two main theories emerged. One from history expert Richard Westwood Brook suggested it might have been a priest hole. These were secret hiding places for Catholics who faced persecution back in the day. Another theory, also from Brooke, proposed it could have been a World War II bunker for Churchill's secret army. So, what exactly was the truth behind the Farla family's hidden chapel? We may never know for sure. But one thing's clear. Their Good Friday party took a turn no one expected, turning their ordinary house into a place with a fascinating and maybe even a little spooky past. Artist Finds Hidden Cash in New Home Josh Farron, an artist who works for the Deseret News, moved into a new house in Utah in 2011. Just a few hours after moving in, he was checking out the back of his garage to find a good spot for his tools. He looked up and saw a small opening in the ceiling. Curious, Josh grabbed a ladder and climbed up. He was surprised to find eight dusty ammo boxes hidden in the ceiling. When he opened them, he was shocked to see that they were filled with cash and coins, totaling around $45,000. Josh was understandably worried. He didn't know where the money came from or what to do. He closed the boxes, put them in his car trunk, and called his wife to tell her about the strange discovery. Josh and his wife did some research and found out that the previous owner of the house, Arnold Bangerter, a father of six, had passed away. They tracked down his son and explained what they had found. Without hesitation, Josh and his wife returned all the money to the son. They were glad to do the right thing and reunite the money with its rightful owner. The story of Josh's honest actions made headlines and warmed the hearts of people everywhere. It's a reminder that even when faced with temptation, it's always best to do the right thing. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.